In this video, I'll show you the most useful little function that I run whenever I load data into R. And to show you this, I'm going to use this example data set. You can download this. I'll put the link in the description below. Just uh, right click on raw and copy the link address. Let's go over to RStudio. I'm going to create a new R script and we'll load the tidyverse packages and we'll now load that file into R. So this is uh, SpaceX launch data for 2020. So let's use read TSV for tab separated values and we'll paste the link and uh, command or control enter and load that in. Now, the most useful function that I run whenever I load data into R is a function called clean names. And let me explain why. Uh, you'll see that these column names, launch UTC, location, mission, and so on, orbit, launch status, are pretty hard to work with. So for example, if we want to, to select only this column, we have to do something like this. And pretty quickly that becomes uh, frustrating to do. So the best little function that I run whenever I load data into R is from the janitor package. And you can load the janitor package like this. Command enter. Uh, now, if you don't have the janitor package installed because it doesn't come with R normally, you can install the janitor package like this. Just like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's restart and run everything again. Okay, it's installing the janitor package. And we run like so. All right, so now the function that I run is called clean names. And you'll see that it takes the column names and it cleans them up. So that launched, like the, the previous, um, like, the way it has with all the spaces and other characters, it cleans those up so that we now have really nice, easy to use column names. So if we if we save those new column names, uh, let's just have a look at that now. Uh, now we can just do select launch status. Much easier to work with. So the function that I use whenever I load data into R is generator clean names. And sometimes I uh, use it so much, I'll just run it directly after loading data like that. And now we can have a look at that data. Nice, beautiful, clean column names. So, hope that helps. Uh, look at the clean names function in the janitor package.